Okay, well, just thinking about solar sails today. And a few changes or modifications that could be you know, done to them. Since I don't understand why SpaceX is trying to get to Mars like right away. That's what they're just trying to take a giant leap, right? They, I don't see why they couldn't just send a ship to Mars and back, take an analog photo, and if you could take an analog photo and return the rocket, then obviously you could do that with a person, right? And that's just like a small step that would get you closer to uh, achieving that goal. But, so then, I'm curious about solar sails and why we haven't I'm sure, well, we have considered, but at that time, that moment, I'm like, why haven't we considered solar sails for human propulsion? I know that there's a lot of issues with it that I don't find any, I haven't found any of my solutions. So one is like a cube that came to me at first, thinking like, why couldn't we use a cube? And it'd be like a solar sail cube that obviously this wouldn't probably work for various reasons, right? So it's not gonna... <laughs> Why wouldn't that work? Well, the light has to... The light sort of like what pushes you, right? So what you would do is then use probably like a liquid nano crystal LED that could then change the refraction of the light. So the panels don't actually have to vector. And looking at the, uh, there's a short article, about five pages of paper, explaining it, the gist of it, and how it works. So I know I'm right. Like, yeah, we could definitely use liquid nano crystals that uh, are, you know, stimulate not only by that but you can use the, the the light from the sun rather than necessarily relying on on another power source and that would just dramatically lower the weight and reduce the need for for mechanics and, and fuel and reduce the mass of fuel so or the fuel that you do get to use also, you know, can you use to stimulate the initial thrust. Look how long these are getting. I can't find my scissors to cut these things off. And so anyway, how that cube then would work is that you can orient the, the nano crystals and those can shut off and control light or be used to, you know, work as a big cube shaped sail right because if it's hard to explain with my hands or drawing it out if you have a v shape you can orient those crystals and create basically a flat structure and you can do that any which way and ideally it'd be nice if you had multiple suns man right? you know, if we had them you know, the sun over here and over here and over here and over here and such then we could really move in space in three dimensions. That would be cool. I've uh, often considered the ability to do something similar on Earth. Since, you know, light kind of refracts in our atmosphere, like, why couldn't we do the same thing? But those are just ideas. And... Oh, like those UFO videos. That's pretty much what I think those that technology might be, something very similar to that. And there's a couple other ideas that I know how to use electromagnetics to produce lift, but aside from all of that, just talking about solar sails and how I could send something to Mars to prove that we can at least, at least, you know, return from Mars, <laughs> like, 
And we were like, oh, we can return from the moon. Yeah, but it's a totally different thing if you're trying to return from Mars. How can we get back from Mars without, you know, sending something to be up there for an entire year of orbit? Since you know, Mars and Earth, essentially, just as Earth, Mars, they have to be, like, in tandem like this. And then, to return, you know, it has to be in reverse, too. That's just... Doesn't happen, right? At least I don't think it does. I don't know. So anyway, that's one way to. You. This this thing is just. What is it doing? I don't know. Huh. I gotta find my scissors. I just need a haircut in general. I don't know how big the solar sails have to be. I think it's like, uh, well, obviously, for like, for the, your thrust proportion, the surface area has to produce enough energy per mass of whatever you're, it's pulling, right? No matter what, it doesn't produce a lot of or fast at all, until over time it does. It's a long time, right, to get up to speed. But... There's other ways to add that speed. That initial thrust. And then it's going to take a long time to slow down. So that's another issue, right? 